said couch out the window so the couch goes out the window kind of falls down and comes back in shatters through this one dining yeah couches through your windows doesn't matter what floor you live on and i understand i i know i've been to prison five times i'm not afraid of prison i'm not afraid to die i'm not afraid to do whatever i don't give a fuck One of our tenants, he's a little upset, y'all. He's a little upset. I think we should talk about it. Yeah, you better tell them son of a bitch to drive in your motherfucking trucks. They better learn how to motherfucking drive. You better understand me? Because the fucking next motherfucking time, they fucking tired that they fucking don't know how to fucking drive. I'm going to jump them son of a bitch out of his motherfucking truck, and I'm going to beat the fuck out of them. Do you understand me? You better not right tell them how to fucking drive. Even though we probably want you up in front. So what is it? There's a couple apartments in the front and a couple in the back, or what? Yeah. First little paint. <laughs> yeah. A little paint, a little carpet. Holy shit. Windows. Thank you for calling Holton Wise Commercial and Residential Real Estate. Please leave a message with your name, your property address, including unit number, and a valid phone number so we can return your call. Pay for my shit, or pay me my money back, and I'll get the fuck out of here. But you're gonna stop stealing my shit. You guys broke in here again illegally, stole my money, and stole my shit again. We had like 10 voicemails from, from one of our tenants. The woman who called frantically during the storm over and over and over lives on the second floor. Three floor building. The reason she called is because the the storm was just pouring into her dining room. A couch was thrown through her window and she lives on the second floor. The tenant above her on the third floor uh, must have found out that night that they had bed bugs in their couch. So, being the geniuses that they are, their, their initial reaction was to open their window of my apartment building in a rainstorm, in the middle of the night, to throw said couch out the window. I don't know about all my other stuff that they took. It's amazing how, how the man himself, Logan, came to my apartment. I changed, listen, said, wow, that's a nice sheet man collection. Wow, that's nice. The next fucking day, it's gone. So the couch goes out the window, kind of falls down, and comes back in, shatters through this one dining room. Yeah. Couches through your windows, doesn't matter what floor you live on. Because after he changed my lock, I followed him. Where did he go? He went to Home Depot right to the key department, and he made another key. So I'm smarter than what you think. And I understand, I, I know, I've been to prison five times. I'm not afraid of prison. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to do whatever. I don't give a fuck. Did you go to the second floor? Yeah, it is. Oh, Are you saying you want some kind of follow with me? Is that what you're saying? Are you threatening me in some type of way? All you gotta do is fucking tell me. I have the right to bear arms in my home, which I have in my home, and I have the right by all means to protect myself. And the Brooklyn police and the detective on my case, the one that's gonna arrest your maintenance guys. But if you threaten me or send your maintenance people to steal from me again, you, you take it how you want from there. I bet you motherfuckers won't come in here one more time. I promise you, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah